Greetings. We're at war right now. There have been lots of casualties. But these people out here die honorable deaths. Master Fuji's over there. Jimmy Hart's over there. But at least my soldiers fought. Welcome to the first ever simulcast between the DMV Federation and the DMVF Wrestling fans. For one time only, I am your boy Big Hurt. WWF Heavyweight Champion. DMVF World Heavyweight Champion. I'm coming to you because we're at war. And right now, my side's winning. And I want to thank everybody who made it possible. Not just the soldiers who died in the battlefield, but the soldiers who are afraid to fight. The part-timers, the kind of checker inners, the people who come in and post in the DMV Federation about why they can't post in the DMV Federation and then go into the wrestling fans page and post 10 or 11 times. I'm not going to name names, but you know who you are. I had to get permission from Greg Miller so I could do this one time only and thank you for making it possible for my side to win this war. You know, I've been running rough shot in the DMV Federation for the last six or seven pay-per-views. Doing what I want, kicking ass, taking names. I've beaten the best they have and everybody they put in front of me in my quest to get this and this. Joker J, J O'Neal, Ked himself, long list. And now, I get the Hall of Famer Mike Brown. Mike, it takes more to be a champion than you will ever know. You think you just become a champion? You think you get these belts by just going on eBay and bidding on them? Or going to www.wrestlingbelts.com and winning them? No. You got to put in the hard work. You got to cut the promos. Something that you know all about. But you got to keep people involved. You ask, I'm going to ask you a question. When was the last time you've seen a more involved champion? Who's there every day? Who has everybody there is gunning for him? Who haven't I been challenged by? Besides the people who are too scared to challenge me. I've been challenged by Nate. I've been challenged by Brandon Moore, Patrick Goldring, Poetry, who are already defeated. Challenged me again after he lost. Jay O'Neill said he's not done. Defeated Kedrick Jones. I mean, come on, man. This is going to be another history-making event. Like I say, I will make history when I was the first man to hold two belts. Two world titles, excuse me. Two world single titles. Got no kids going over this with a fine-tooth comb. Now I have a chance to be the first person to defeat three sitting Hall of Famers. Defeated Joker J the night after the Hall of Fame. Defeated Ked. And now Mike Brown. My favorite champion. We've had our battles. I know my win comes a little heavier than yours in our battles. But at DMVF Best Man... Not only do I get to show you who the best man is, I get to show you who the best champion is. And anybody in the DMV, wrestling fans, who's looking at this going, why am I looking at this? If you got a problem, you know who I am and you know where to find me. I'm in the DMVF all day. DMV Federation. I'm the guy with the gold. I told you guys my title reign was going to be big. Bigger than y'all could imagine. And I will not let my troops' death go in vain. Mike Brown, I'm on a quest to be the greatest champion of all time. And I can't do that until I beat you. And I will beat you. And I will cripple the DMVF Federation. You think you guys are making a comeback? As long as I have this, 
Y'all better get in that tournament for that U.S. title. It's going to be a lot more important. I will be the greatest champion of all time. Do you know why? Because I can. Brian Green can make a memo off this. This guy here. This guy here.